let's get started on our Mexican rice pudding, also known as arroz con leche. So delicious. Okay, really simple. Now all I've got going on here are seven cups of water, and you start it in a cool pan. You don't need to turn it on or anything just yet. And then the one cup of rice, just regular long grain rice. And then I'm gonna need some cinnamon, you know, some canela to spice this up a little bit and add even more flavor. And you just wanna add it in there with the rice and the water. So just bring it to a boil over a high heat and then reduce the heat and simmer until the rice is tender, as simple as that. Now we have our rice that's nice and tender and you're not looking for al dente here, you're looking for overcooked rice. And because you overcook it, you have water that's kind of a little bit starchy, so we wanna remove it from that liquid. You don't need that cinnamon stick, we can take it out. And you just want to drain off the excess liquid. See, that's way too starchy. We're going to be adding milk in a little bit, and that's going to be our liquid. So just remove all that water, and then just return the rice into that same pot. And now we need to add the leche, because in Mexico it's called arroz con leche. So we're going to add a couple cups of whole milk. Just add it in there. And you want to make sure you stir it a little bit. We're gonna add that evaporated milk in there because we do need some liquid because we took the liquid from the rice out. The cooking liquid is gone. Let's so just add that in there. And then we're gonna add the sweetened condensed milk that's actually used a lot in Mexican cooking, both in sweet and savory dishes. Now, because we're adding sweetened condensed milk, we don't need to add any sugar. It's gonna act as our sweetener and it's gonna make it really rich and creamy and dense and delicious. Let's just add that in there. See, look at that. I think I could eat a can of this all by itself. And with the rice and the cinnamon and the raisins, oh my goodness. You wanna get out every last bit. There we go. And then you wanna stir it up and you wanna make sure you bring it to a boil, then reduce the heat and simmer until it's nice and thick. And every once in a while, you wanna make sure to stir it so the rice doesn't stick to the bottom and burn. Look how rich and creamy and thick it got, and this is exactly what you're looking for when you're making Mexican rice pudding. Now all we need to do at this point, you can turn the heat off, and we're just gonna add the raisins, as little as much as you'd like, just add them in there. And then just stir them in, because you want them to heat up a little bit and get nice and soft. And just pour some in there, super rich. Super creamy. And then just to make it a nice and pretty garnish, a little cinnamon stick. And then just sprinkle with some powdered cinnamon. Just a tiny bit. Okay, I have to dig into that. 